Hey everybody, got another video lesson. This is number 97 on page 19. That is the trombone rag. And of course, I'm playing it on trombone. So, a um, couple things before we get started here. Uh, always check your key signature. Uh, low brass and flutes, you have two flats. That's nothing unusual. Saxes, you have an F sharp. That's nothing unusual. Clarinets and trumpets, you have nothing in your key signature. Again, nothing unusual. Um, we should also look at the road map. Now, what do I mean by road map? It's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Uh, the road map is where the repeats and whatnot are. If you look at this song, you have a first ending and a second ending. Now, hopefully, first and second endings are nothing new. I'm pretty sure we covered that at some point this year. But if it is something new, um, what it means is you start at the beginning of the song, you go to the end of the song until you get to the repeat sign under the first bracket that says uh, bracket number one. Then you go back to the beginning and you play again. When you get to that bracket the second time, instead of playing under the one that says one, you skip it and play the one that says two. That's the second ending. One last thing on this one, there is a fermata on the very last note. Remember, a fermata means you hold that note out. And because this is a video, I'm still the conductor, so I'm going to cut you off. If you make a recording of this one, you would hold it out for as long as you want and cut it off yourself. There is also a slight difference between the trombone part and the rest of the band's part for this particular song. If you look, if you're a trombone player, look at the first and second endings. You have a new exciting thing in trombone land called a glissando. Now, it says gliss, G-L-I-S-S -S in your music, but that stands for glissando. And a glissando is the cool trombone thing that y'all are excited about all the time, which is this. <laughs> Now, the thing about playing a glissando is this. You can't just go, because that ain't it, okay? You got to hit the first note, slide your slide out to the second note, and then slide it all the way back for the, first, for the third note. So here it is, listen. Okay? The thing is, the important thing is not the gliss. The important thing is the notes themselves. So. Let's do 97, um, and we'll do that. Here we go. One, two, 97, here we go. So, once again, I started at the beginning, played all the way through, took the repeat back to the beginning, and the second time, instead of playing the first ending, I played the second ending, and then I held that fermata out, okay? Uh, one measure that I screwed up in there that I suspect you might have too is the fourth measure. Um, it looks like it just goes down the scale, but it doesn't. It skips a couple notes in there, so, or it skips one note in particular. So. I'd like to play that measure slowly with you. So take a look at the fourth measure. The notes are uh, G, F, D, C. So, well that's for trombone, it's other notes for other instruments. But here it goes, listen. So let's play that all together, that measure. Ba -da, ba -da. One, two, three, and go. So let's play 97 all together, whole thing one more time. Here we go. One and two and a one and a two trombone right one. Bye. Uh -huh. 
but if you don't play the trombone, obviously you don't have the gliss because you can't do that. Instead, you just rest for that measure. If we were to play this as a full band, the trombones would be featured in that one measure. Uh, anyway, so there's the tune. Hope you uh, did a good job. Hope you followed along. If you need to back it up and do it again, feel free to do so. See you next time.